Hello, and welcome to the Writers and Illustrators of the Future podcast. This is John Goodwin, your host. Today's guest is Illustrators of the, of the Future winner, Yin Yin Jiang. Welcome, Yin Yang. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So, first of all, congratulations on being a winner. Thanks very much. So, you're from UK. So, um, how do you find out about Writers of the Future or Illustrators of the Future? Mm. So, I found out through a friend, and she's an aspiring writer, and she had entered the competition several times. And then um, one day she told me that, you know, there's an art component of this competition. Do I want to enter? And um, I thought, it, you know, it was very interesting. So, I did, and I'm glad I did. Um, and it's funny because throughout the process, um, my friend and I, we often joked about getting selected and, you know, being able to attend the workshop together. And I'm, I'm a little bit sad that she's not here with me today. Huh. But, you know, I am rooting for her for, you know, future contests. Yeah, in the future. Oh, yeah. good. That's great. So, um, have you, your whole lifeline has been to be an artist or what's been your, your line as, in terms of your art? So I've always been really interested in art and for the longest time art was just a hobby and um, in terms of you know I've been doing digital illustration for the past 15 years and it was only the last four years that I um, you know made the conscious decision to try and take it more seriously and to explore you know ways of making what was a hobby into maybe something else so it's actually relatively recent that I made this conscious decision. Good and do you have anything that's happening professionally on with respect to your art? Um, well, this is the first award, mm -hmm. first official recognition that yeah. I've received. Um, and back in 2016, I did a art exhibition and I sold a few pieces there. Um, and um, I take, you know, private commissions from clients and um, that's the, sort of the level that I'm at at the moment. Oh, good. Yeah. So do you, what do you see in terms of the future as, as an artist for yourself? So in the future, I'm... I'm continuing to work to develop and strengthen my own art abilities and I'm really interested in book illustration, especially book cover art. Mm -hmm. And so that's an area that I really want to focus and look into um, in the future. Well, you have about probably at least 12 <laughs> people here too. I know. <laughs> yes, I'm in the right place. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and also with like Echo and Lazarus, they're just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Bob exactly. Eggleton's done a lot of covers, and he'll be here as well teaching, and uh, Larry Elmore. Yeah, no, I'm so excited about the workshop. Um, I think with what's special about this competition, more than the award and more than, you know, the, the, the award ceremony, is that, you know, I get to learn from the best, mm -hmm. and that's such a valuable um, experience. That's great. So any particular major influencers you've had in your life that's driven you to art or a certain type of art? Um, I really like, um, I'm trying to think, so William Waterhouse, he's one of my favorite painters and actually he influenced one of the drawings that I did that um, I entered for this uh, competition. Um, he painted um, a painting called The Lady of Charlotte and mm -hmm. I did a tribute to that painting and um, I just love all of his drawings. I love the way he can just create, you know, so many different emotions just from a character's, you know, their expression and their pose and I think he's really influenced me in um, what I draw. Um, yeah, I mean, we, when your original submissions came in, mm -hmm. it, was, it was like, okay, here's one of the winners and then we said, wait a minute, that looks like a lot like a water house. <laughs> yes, and yes. I had several discussions <laughs> with Echo and Lazarus about it and said, no, this, yeah. is, this is called a tribute piece. Yes. Because yeah. it was first, it was concerned what's happening here because it looks very uh, looks very water housey. And then he right. said, no, it's a tribute piece. I said, oh, I got it. So obviously she really, really likes water I house. I really <laughs> like him, yes. <laughs> yeah, no, that was definitely, it's, um, it's my own sort of personal tribute to him just because, yeah, I love his drawing so much. Well, that became very, very clear with your submission <laughs> there. Yes. <laughs> yes. So um, on your journey as an artist, have there been any like sidetracks where you got discouraged and went off of it and then came back on? Or has it just been a steady plodding um, forward and improving? It's... Um I think one of my main struggle is that, so I come from quite a traditional Chinese background um, where, you know, there is a mindset that art and, you know, other creative pursuits aren't really considered safe career options. Right. And so, you know, it's art isn't really encouraged beyond a hobby. So that was one of my struggles, um, just really um, you know, in the absence of outright support, uh, just <laughs> trying to encourage myself. And, you know, I've had to be my own champion in pursuing art. And sometimes that can get quite tiring. Um, and 
also I don't have any sort of formal training in art like my university degree was in biology and um, so you know sometimes um, you know I, I find myself questioning you know do I actually have the right skills you know am I good enough um, and so that's why actually winning this competition has meant a lot because it's a, it's a recognition that you know I am doing something right and I've got the potential for it. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, so tell me about the story that you illustrated in the book. Yeah, so the story I illustrated um, is called Dirt Road Magic. And um, it's about a boy who grows up in a trailer park. And um, he's basically, he's friends with a man who um, has magic. And the man offers the boy, um, you know, a, a choice of a lifestyle that's more glamorous and quite exciting than what the boy is used to. And, and, um, and the boy has to make a decision of whether he wants to accept that offer. And so I just, I really enjoy that story and um, um, and and yeah I decided to um, take a more con conceptual approach to illustrating that story and um, I decided to go with the theme of decision and choice because that's that for me that's the key theme of the story itself and um, and that was that was the inspiration oh good <laughs> good yeah it's do you like fantasy art more or science I, I fiction? do tend to like fantasy more yes so I wasn't sure because with the uh, the one we talked about before, that's that's almost like more of a realism. Yes, yeah. Um, I mean, it, it's 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 not sort of high fantasy mm -hmm. for sure, um, but there is you know the element of magic and or you know what magic means to different people, and um, I think that that was quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So um, now once. Once this is over and you're done with the week and you, mm -hmm. and you go back home to the UK, what do you envision as your next step? Um, I think that I'm going to continue sort of strengthening and developing my own art skills. Um, and I think this has really given me a con confident boost. So I'm going to, you know, be more active in sort of promoting my, myself mm -hmm. and my art and um, just be more active in um, just telling people that, you know, this is what I can do. Good. Now, have you read through? Have you read any of the different materials yet that that go with the workshop or with the um, with the, with the contest? Um, I mean, I've read, um, I've seen sort of the past videos that you've made with um, previous years. I've looked through that, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, I've read through um, the workshop and what to expect for this week. Um, and um, yeah, I'm very excited with um, the art workshop and working with Echo. Yeah, definitely. One thing about. Um, the reason why the illustrators and the writers' workshops were created and why they're so important is mm -hmm. um, Mr. Hubbard, who, en who endowed the contests and continues even after his passing, really saw that the uh, artist injects the spirit of life into society. Yeah. So what's your take on that role of an artist? Um, I think it's very important. I mean, with art, I think art transcends barriers it transcends race ethnicity um you know and so it's very important to um as an artist to you know create so um what are you most looking forward to this week um i'm really looking forward to the workshop you know just working alongside um industry experts getting advice from them i think that's really valuable um i'm a self-taught artist so i don't i haven't really received professional training there's a lot of questions that I, I would love to you know ask for the advice and you know that's that's the main thing that i'm really looking forward to that's great and then anybody in particular you're looking forward to meeting I'm looking forward to meeting Echo just because throughout my assignment I've received really valuable feedback from her and that's the first time I've gotten sort of art direction, um, this experience of receiving art direction. So yeah, I'm looking forward to working with her in person. We're really looking for forward sure. to seeing you as you, <laughs> Thank you as you grow as an artist. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Yin Yang. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for our next installment of the Writers of the Future podcast. Subscribe to the Writers of the Future podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Writers and Illustrators of the Future are contests created by L. Ron Hubbard to provide a means for the aspiring writer and artist to be seen and acknowledged. It is free to enter and open to new and amateur short story writers and artists of science fiction or fantasy. 